Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High School. With just a uh, end of our week, um, we had Trojan Day this week on Wednesday. Uh, we've got next week to kind of do our last preparations to get the school year started on September 8th. I just wanted to welcome you in. I've got a list of items here I wanted to cover with you. Um, first of all, thank you for all of you who turned out for Trojan Days. Um, it's great to have seen you. Um, get your pictures taken, the students, um, to find out a little bit more about, you know, the things we have going on at school. Um, anyway, so hopefully that was a great experience for you. Typically, we run two of those, uh, meaning back-to-back -back days. We've done that in past years. Last year, it was all virtual, of course. Um, this year, we decided to go with one day and stretch the day out. We, were, we started at 8 in the morning, went till 7 in the evening. Uh, in past years, we would see over the totality of two days in past years, uh, about seven to 800 families would come through over those two days. So about 400 parents each day, students each day. Um, this year, we offered the one day Trojan day and we had 1,053 students pictures taken. So that was a great indicator for us. Um, so thank you. Um, I wanted to also let you know that we're still dealing with COVID as you all know. Um, this is definitely one of those things that we are all experiencing. Um, this year, last year I talked a lot about safety over convenience, if you were here. Uh, this year we're talking about layers of safety, okay? I wanna make sure that we all understand we have a role to play in this, just as we did last year. Our students and our staff did fantastic last spring. Um, the layers of safety are this, if you don't feel well, you stay home. Um, and you just check out your symptoms with the health authority or a parent, or you, know, you probably know yourselves pretty well just to make sure you're okay. If you have some of the symptoms that really are more COVID related, you definitely want to get tested. So the first layer is stay home if you're not feeling like you, you should be here, okay? Of course, we know there's asymptomatic uh, cases of COVID. There's really not much you can do about that because you wouldn't know. Um, the other layer of safety would be masks. Always when we're indoors, um, I'm in my office right now by myself so I can take my mask off. As soon as someone comes in, I got to put it on or as soon as I walk out of my office, I have to put it on. Um, the other layer of safety would be distancing. We want to be mindful of how we're distancing still. We went from a, a six foot distance indoors from last year. We're going to be able to move it down to three, masked, of course, when we're indoors. And at lunch times, we're going to spread that out a little bit because our masks are going to be off. Um, we can take our masks off when we're outside. We're going to bring the tents and awnings back in the fall. Uh, we had those outside so the kids could eat outside. We're going to keep that going so we could use both courtyards. We can use our lunchroom. It's going to not be the seating, everyone facing forward. We're actually going to have tables so you can have a little bit more interaction and uh, we'll still really be mindful of the distancing. So we're going to help remind you of that. You guys can remind us of that. And uh, I think it'll be great. Also, some of you that have been around our school a while, you know, we have these quiet eating areas. Those are going to be open again this year. OK, so at lunchtime, if you want to go to one of our stairwells, Okay, if you want to go along some of the, the window ledges, I guess you call them, they're kind of seating bench height. Um, those are going to be available. You will see these signs that say sit here. If you see three signs that say sit here, you just know three students is going to be the max. Some of our quiet areas have benches, or not benches, but countertops where you can stand up to the countertop. So we're trying to give kids a lot of flexibility. You'll see stickers that show feet. And if you see six set of feet, you know, six students can be there eating safely. We're gonna ask you to be mindful, stay on those stickers. Um, and, and they're pretty big, you can't really miss them. So we've got a lot of availability for you guys to eat. If you're trying to find more of a quiet area, you wanna hang out with some friends, but if you go there and all the spots are taken, you gotta move on to somewhere else. So we gotta be really cooperative with that. We'll do a great job. Um, as far as if you do have COVID symptoms during the day, and I'm speaking to students and staff, we will have a protocol to follow. Those that were here last spring knew they were supposed to go down to the counseling office after they, 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 yeah, they let their teacher know um, that they're not feeling well. The teacher would then let the health tech, the school nurse know that we've got someone going down. We don't walk into the counseling office in the, in the regular door. There's some signage there saying, if you're not feeling well, don't go through this door. There's a second door you would go through because it's very close to our COVID isolation room, which basically is just one of our conference rooms that we've labeled as our COVID isolation room. There you will go. The nurse will check you out. They'll have on all the PPE and uh, we'll determine at that point um, how you're doing. Um, more likely than not, um, your parent will be picking you up if they can. If they're not able to, um, you might be a student that can drive home if you're well enough to do that. So that's going to be a decision made by the nurses. So we do have a protocol for that. Same for the staff. We have a protocol for you also. 
Uh, lunches, we will run a three lunch um, situation. In past years, we've gone two lunches. Last spring, we went three. We'll continue a three lunch configuration. Um, here's something that's a little bit different. We don't have to clean our surfaces after every period, okay? We're learning more from the science what we need to do. But at the end of each day, we are going to clean our surfaces. So if you're in your sixth period class, your teacher's going to get the bottle out, you know, the spray bottle with the towels. We'll go through that. If you haven't done that before, it's really simple, okay? Um, and then I think uh, the next thing would be, yeah, we're still going to keep our hands clean. We still got hand sanitizers. We walk into classrooms. Um, let me let me transition to the first three days of school. Now I'm speaking specifically to our freshmen right now. Uh, so if you're an incoming freshman on the first day of school on um, September 8th, Wednesday, September 8th, you're going to arrive at our regular time. School starts at 810. Your buses are going to roll in about 740. Uh, they're going to let you off on the west uh, uh, courtyard area, or you might be let, being let off on the east courtyard area. But you'll come to school. Make sure you bring your masks. You got to be masked on all the buses too, of course. And uh, that very first morning for our freshmen, we're going to have an assembly out at Memorial Stadium. We call it Troy Stadium because that's where the Trojans play. But once you get to school, you can get a breakfast. You can just head straight out to the stadium. The assembly will start at 8, 10 a.m. And when you get there, they'll tell you where you're sitting and all that. We're going to use distancing out there as well. Bring your masks. Um, you can choose to wear a mask outside. You don't have to. That's our latest guidance. And uh, that assembly will last about an hour. Then you guys are going to go on school tours with our Troy crew leaders, upperclassmen who've been trained to do this. And you guys are going to basically have the run of the school. Uh, you guys will eat as a class in our commons. You'll get to check it out first. We'll probably give you a little bit of guidance on a microphone. Um, and uh, we'll kind of go from that point. And then you guys, uh, freshmen, you then will go to another holding area. It could be a gym uh, where you're going to meet up with your Troy time teachers. They'll walk you to class. Now, Upperclassmen, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, whether you're a returning student or a new student, you're going to arrive to school at four hours later. So 1140, you'll be getting served lunch just as the freshmen are exiting the commons. You guys will have a lunch. It'll be grab and go more than likely. You'll have the co whole commons area. You'll have both courtyards. We're going to spread out. Um, and then at a certain time, I want to say it's like 1215 right now, but we'll give you all the times once you get here. So don't worry about that. We're going to head to our Troy times. We're going to spend the balance of the day with our Troy time teachers. Many of you already know your Troy time teachers. Some of you, they'll be brand new, but you'll be in a cohort of students of 20, 25 students, maybe a little bit less, where basically you're going to learn a ton about our school or relearn a ton about our school and some of the new guidance and probably do some icebreakers, some good activities, get to know each other, get reacquainted. So we really think that's a great way to start the first day. Um, we'll get out of school a little bit early so that we can get to our buses to kind of get those routines down. So maybe five, 10 minutes early. We'll do that the whole first week, the first three days. Second day, we're going to run what would be considered a normal schedule, um, six periods with Troy time. And then the last day, we're going to squish our schedule together. We're going to start at 810. Uh, every period is going to be a little bit shorter, maybe like 35 minutes. And then we are going to do an all school, if the weather holds, um, Hopefully better than today. Today's raining. Um, it's supposed to be nice weather on the on the 10th. Um, we'll do an all school kind of a picnic out in the whole stadium area. We got the field, we got the stands, just to get reacquainted again. We can be outside, it's safe, we'll be able to distance. And then we're gonna roll into a school assembly. We'll get back up into the stands. And then our school leadership group um, will give you guys an assembly and then we'll adjourn at the end of that day. You guys can head to the buses, but we think it's going to be a great first week of school. Your teachers are excited. They can't wait to get started with the year, getting to know you, okay? The content's important, no question about it, okay? We're here to learn. We're here to get better. We're here to get ready for our life after high school, but we really want to get, get to know you guys first. Um, so show up. Uh, show up with an open mind. Show up knowing that the school is about you. Always know that. We use an acronym around here. It's called TROY. T stands for together. We like to do things together. When we do things together, things tend to work out a little bit better. We want to be respectful. We want to respect the individual in you. We want you to respect the individual and everybody else. Okay, we do things with respect. We want to treat people the way they want to be treated. Um, and that's for the R. The O means organized. We have to do things in an organized way. We have two, almost 2,000 people in the building, counting staff and students. So we have to be organized with the way we go about things. The why means you belong here and this is about you. It is you, this is your school. So we really believe in that here. 
Um, you're going to be engaged by your teachers. They're going to ask you about good things going on, real things going on in your lives. They're going to have some really great opportunities or great tools to use. If you're kind of getting off track, they're just going to ask you a question. They're not going to fire a bunch of pressure on you or, or sweat you down or something like that. They're just going to say, hey, what are you supposed to be doing right now? And that's really your clue to go, oh, yeah, I got to get back on task. So we really think we put learning at the central part of what we do. And we want to really work with all students. We had a great crew of counselors here. We were able to add an extra counselor this year to give a little bit more reach to our students. And we're really excited about that. So we're really excited about the school year. As you can tell, I'm a little bit fired up. I've been waiting for this all summer. I'm really looking forward to this school year, getting to know all of you. And, and we're going to have a great year. And something that our student leaders like to say every single day in our daily announcements is have a great day of the Trojan Way. We'll see you soon, everybody.